Welcome to our first night of our new choreo. I think we have a couple of returning people and new people tonight. Glad to have you back. Um, let's see, what do I need to show you before we do this? Did I show you anything last week? Oh, we did the... Oh, yeah, the step over the log. This is, I'm not going to explain the whole choreo to you, but there's a couple things that, yeah, step over the log. See, <laughs> lift up your hip and step over a log. Then we'll shoulder, shoulder. Hip up, step over a log, shoulder, shoulder. Hip up, step over a log, shoulder, shoulder. Hip up, step over a log, shoulder, shoulder. Good. Yeah. Um, I think that was the, yeah. Oh, there was another one. Yeah. So there's another one. Hip up, step back, step back, step back, drop hip, drop hip, step back. It's probably easier to step back, drop your hip, step back, drop your hip, step back, drop your hip, step back, drop your hip. Going forward, there's going to be two glutes to one step. Double glute, double glute, double glute, double glute, step back, step back, step back, step back. All right, let's do it. We're going to go single, single doubles in the hips. Five, six, seven, eight. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Figure eight. Hips. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Figure eight. Hips again. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Figure eight. Can you turn it up a little? Boost to the front. Five, six, seven, touch front. Touch, touch, touch. Hips to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, front, front. Touch, touch, touch. Step, touch right. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. To the side and circle and circle and circle and step touch back and step touch step touch step touch step step and circle and circle and circle and circle now chest hip 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 chest 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 pelvic rolls chest lift chest lift chest lift Let's take it to the front arms if you want touch front and touch and touch and touch glutes to the back five six seven touch front and touch and touch and touch step touch step touch 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 take it to the side and circle and circle and circle step touch back and step touch step touch step touch step step and circle figure eight arms up down both sides of your head let's do it again figure eight figure eight arms up down both sides of your head circle oh sorry double glute, double glute. i should have practiced this step back down drop 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 and double glute double glute double glute double glute now circle bring it down other side. Bring it down. Figure eight. Quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Quick, quick, step over the log. Step, shoulder, shoulder. Step, shoulder, shoulder. Step, shoulder, shoulder. Step, shoulder, shoulder. To the front. Touch front and touch, touch, touch. Take it to the back. 
touch front and touch, 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 touch. One more. Touch front and touch, 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 touch. Done. <laughs> Good job. Good job. I guess I didn't know it as well as I thought I did. Huh? <laughs> I smacked nothing but my ankle bone on the chair. <laughs> no one right on the inside. Oh, oh. <laughs> careful. The chair jumped. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, everybody. Are you ready for the first night of Sumbala Hanam? Yes. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the style that we're doing tonight. So this is um, an oriental number is what this is referred to as. So this is what... So in the United States, we hear that and we're like, what? But this is what Egyptian teachers refer to the style as, right? So why is it called that? Because in Egypt, so rock sharky is a direct translation that means oriental dance. So in Egypt, which was colonized by the UK, there was a, there became a distinction, right? Because the colonization had already happened by the time this style came about. So there was a distinction amongst Egyptian dancers between occidental western things and oriental eastern things right so eastern dances is rough translation so in the belly dance world we refer to oriental routines particularly as the ones that are uh, orchestral numbers right the big orchestra says orchestras are a big deal in egypt their orchestras are amazing incredible unparalleled and so we see these big orchestral numbers there's often some balletic influence in these and they're very lifted they're up here right they're very grand numbers so anytime you're seeing that that's when we're seeing the oriental style of this dance so in that uh, no, so oftentimes with these big orchestras, the dancer wouldn't come out until the beat drops. Now we're still gonna dance in the beginning part, but just know, cause I have to tell you the correct way to do it is that we wouldn't dance during it, okay? So we're still gonna do that anyway. We will be doing a stationary thing. Now I'm gonna let you know, if I were to dance, <laughs> I would walk around in this part. I know we're not doing anything right, but whatever. We're feeling the vibes. We're feeling the grandeur, all right? Let's have a little listen to the beginning part, which would be the part we wouldn't dance to, just so you can get an idea of what this sounds like. So grand. So the dancer wouldn't come out until then, and maybe not even then, because we didn't actually, technically the beat didn't drop there either. There's gonna be a second bigger beat drop. But that beginning chunk right there, if I were to perform this like I did at the student showcase, I would be coming out and I'd be like, oh my God, oh, oh. Maybe give you some twirls, take in the costume, oh, oh. Strutting around the stage like that, but I know walking is the worst thing ever in a dance class. It's the hardest move. So we're going to start at stationary. If you would like to walk it later, we can do that. So what we're going to do to start is we're just going to be doing like some little shimmies and some hand movements, right? So this sounds like da 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 da, right? So while I'm doing that, da 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 da, right? And I'm just going to do some hands with it. So let's talk a couple of hand things. So we're going to scoop out the peanut butter jar. This is going to be our wrist circle. Yeah, so I'm leading with that middle finger and I'm pushing against it. Peanut butter sticky. Yeah, there we go, good. Let's try the inside. That's usually not the good direction. So if your wrists are like, meow, you can go the other way. Good, very nice. Then we have the hand undulation or the smoke hand. Yeah, so you're just doing little waves with the hands. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And sometimes I'll kind of combine the two, right? So you see, I start the scoop and then I roll. Start a scoop, and then I roll. Start a scoop, and then I roll. Start a scoop and roll, right? So whatever your hands, just do a little kitty's pause, all right? Whatever little flippy flappies they wanna do, all of those are good to go, all right? Then we'll also be interspersing some shimmies if you would like. So I'm just gonna bend and unbend the knees. And then we take it up. 
da, da, da. Very good. Apply those wherever you see fit. And while we're doing this part, I want you to bring your energy this way, right? We're royal. We project the energy up to the gods, okay? That's the energy that I want you to bring to this, all right? We're up here. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, give me a little reach, a little drama on it. Yeah, let's try it. Do you want to listen one more time before we do it? No, we're ready. Let's do it. We're ready to get grand. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's do it again. So you can also, you may have saw added in a couple of some wobbly wobbles and figure eights, whatever you want to do. There's no wrong, there's only one wrong way to do this. That's the only way you could do it wrong, right? Project that confidence here. Don't look in and go, oh my God, please don't watch me do this, <laughs> right? Give it that. And if you're doing that, you're doing it right. So let's go ahead and do that again. Technically, if you really wanted to play it classically, you wouldn't come out till that beat drop, but we are doing it the American way today because it's fun. And these entrances are always so bomb, all right? We're just doing it. So we have our grand, our wavy. We're gonna do that one this whole class long, so you got lots of time to get comfy with that and play around, see what else you wanna do with it if you want to. So that next section, we're gonna do a shimmy and we're gonna follow it with some chest presses. So I'm just taking it to the side, shake. Now I'm gonna go lift, press, lift, press. Good, we shake it to the side. Lift, press, lift, press, shake it side. Lift, press, lift, press, shake it side. Lift, press, lift, press. Good, so let's talk about that chest press. So when I'm doing this movement, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this, and I'm gonna do both of them. So the first one is that we're gonna use the spine and we're gonna push. So my headlights are gonna go ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor, or ceiling wall, right? So I'm using, my spine and you see how i get a rotation right because your maximum lift your shoulders will roll back a little bit not because i'm pinching my shoulder blades together right but you see how there's a bit of a rotation to it yeah that's what i'm talking about so proud chest point the headlights to the ceiling come back to neutral proud and neutral give it proud chest give it neutral and proud chest and neutral that's what i'm talking about so that is the skeletal way to do it right we're using our skeleton to push not all you probably can't feel a whole lot of individual muscles right so now let's talk about the muscular way so now this is going to be the same thing as if you take a big deep breath from your chest <sighs> like that lift and press lift and press and you might find that you have to inhale and exhale at first to do that as you can see you can work that out but now you can really feel all the muscles of the rib cage engaging. Yeah. Okay. So now see, can you put them both together? You don't have to do hundred percent of each think like 50, 50 of each. So now we're going to press and lift, take it down, press and lift, take it down, press and lift, take it down, press and lift, take it down. Yeah. Good. So you see how if I have my headlight orientation, right? And this one was floor to ceiling, low rotation. This one is high beams, low beams high beams, low beams, right? So you see how there's no rotation to that. And I don't have my maximum extension just doing the muscular one. So I'm gonna add a little more, right? I add a little spine so that I get a little extra lift in there. Yeah, good. I also have a very flexible rib cage. Mine's probably gonna move like twice as much as yours and that's okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So because this is the 
<sighs> grandeur part, right? Da 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 da. I'm really giving it oomph, right? I'm lifting those nips from my toes. You know what I'm saying? Bah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Lift it from the floor. You ready? So you're gonna start from back here. Boom. Da da da. Yeah, good. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Lift it from the floor. Floor nipple connection. You get me. You understand. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're gonna do that shake. Da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da. Da da ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da da da. Yeah, good. We're just giving it that juice, giving it a little extra. You can go smaller if you like. I'm choosing the big one because the orchestra's big, so I want to be big with it. That is also my choice 90% of the time, though. So maybe you don't want to be big 90% of the time. That's fine. You can find other ways to be grand in there too. Yeah. <laughs> floor nipple connection i agree cat that's the next t-shirt dance life brand that <laughs> bumper stickers absolutely yeah lee's stating it if you live life for floor nipple connection your confidence will improve <laughs> that's the kind of claims white people like to make okay let's do it I know the drums just get you, doesn't it? This is the excitement of the orchestral numbers. When I tell you their orchestras are just much so much better, okay? I don't make the rules, okay? I didn't make the rules. Okay, so we did our side to side. We found our shimmies, we found our hands. How were those chest lifts? Oh, they were all right, huh? Oh, so so we give them like a five to, to a seven. Yeah, good. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, chest lifts in the car <laughs> on the ride here. Yeah, yep, do it in the car. It's a great place to isolate the chest. So I don't talk a lot about arms because, frankly, most of the time I know at this level, it's like, could I just not have arms, <laughs> right? So if you're feeling that way, don't worry about it. When I go to the side, <sighs> right? So you see how I'm like, mm, I'm going to get the moats out of my way. <sighs> get them out of the way. Ah, so we can be powerful. Boom, boom, boom. You clear them away. Da, da, da. Right? So that's what I'm just emphasizing whatever it is I'm doing. I'm using my arms. So. Da, 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 da. And then I'm shimming when I get there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take it to the side and shake. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice. You'll notice this is a lot like the part in El Hobo <laughs> that we just did. Yeah. With the figure eight. <laughs> yeah. It's that, but it's the oriental version of what was a folklore move, right? So now we're seeing how we take the same things and we give them different emphasis, yeah? Okay, any other questions? No questions in the room. Any questions at home? No? We ready to do it? Let's do it. Mommy, you want to try so I can see? Absolutely. This is mom's favorite style. She loves this. <laughs> She doesn't end lying. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. She loves when I do it one time and say, you got it, right? You've done this one. You know it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Give me some brand arms. Shake the one, two, three, four. Last one. 
Just shake. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. All right, same thing. Let's do it again. Okay, we're gonna do it some more, but since you're already doing that end shimmy, let's talk about it so that, cause I can see your butts know what to do, but your arms are like, oh, what's this? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my arms up and then I bring that energy in. Now, normally when we would do something like this, this is an eight count stretch, we would normally go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not what the music does. So what I'm gonna do, da, 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 Right, so there's that last little end. So you're actually doing like six counts. I think it's six counts of this. Maybe seven counts, I'm not sure. You hear, da, 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 that's where you're gonna bring it back down. When you do that, I recommend, so we did weights even, da, 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 da. So you see how I'm settling onto my left foot so that I can pick my right foot up because we're gonna Zanuba next. So if you don't wanna have to think about it, as you settle into it, settle back onto that left foot, and then you'll have your foot ready to go for that Zanuba. But don't worry, we're gonna get there. Uh, let's do it another couple of times, now that we know what our arms are doing there. Yeah, that's, that's what I say, and it's like maybe only one count. It's like a count and a half. You can also da 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 right? So you see how I kind of cut that shimmy short and I got my foot ready? You can also do that in the meantime while you get used to where that is. Question? Like where it starts? You getting ready for it? <laughs> is it just the first one or all of them? All of them. You're still getting there. So when you're doing that, if you gotta cut the shimmy, that's totally fine. So you might go da 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 da. I would rather you give me a grand side to side movement than a really defined shimmy there. I was actually gonna talk about that section. So this is that that foot nip spot, right? So you see how oh I go to the side, right? So you see how I start that from the ground. So I want to try just stepping. So take your feet a little bit wide just to give us a little bit of a wide base. So we're gonna push from this foot through this shoulder or this nip, whichever one you want to think about. Push. Yeah, good. Other side. Push, other side, push, other side, push, push, push. Yeah, good. That's what I'm talking about. And this whole time, that's what I'm thinking of is I'm thinking of using my body from the top to the bottom, right? So it's not just step to the side, da 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 da, bum 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 bum, da 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 and so you see when I'm doing that, I'm only doing like one count of shimmy anyway. It's really fast. So if your butt doesn't want to go that fast, take time with that grand sweep, then do the chest. Yeah, shimmy's the one to cut for sure. We already shimmy. Oh yeah, there's four chest things. You're already turning instead of doing that fourth one. That's okay. That's okay. You can start if you want a little extra time on that turn. That's all good. But yeah, there's there's four of the chest beats. If you want to do all four, you get to do what you want. Oh, that's a little paint your own adventure. What? <laughs> I didn't read that one. You can improvise. Oh my God, you can. Yes. Anybody at home got any questions? No. 
You want to do it again? Let's do it again. Same thing. Okay, that was grand. <gasps> Do we feel the grandeur? Oh, we looked like we were we were buying at that time. We say, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Cut that shimmy. There's the grandeur. What's that? You were selling it that time. Exactly. Yes, you were selling it to me. <laughs> so in so we talked about this movement that made that way more grand, right? In the beginning part, I am using breath. I'm also using that floor nipple connection. I'm also using breath. Inhale it up. Exhale. Inhale it up. Exhale, inhale it up, and then I slowly blow it out. <gasps> right, and then you can take the feet. But if it's helpful to have like a touchstone of what makes that grand. So let's just a quick, just quick that one beginning part. I just want you to think about where you're inhaling and exhaling. So you don't have to do the full thing. I'm going to face you for this one. Right, so you feel how that creates floor nipple connection when you're doing the breath, because your your knees will kind of start to do the breathing with you. Yeah, so if that helps. Okay, now let me watch it. Now that you know about the breathing, let's do it. Exhale. Inhale. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I felt it. Yeah, the breathing. It was so good. Did you feel the power of like a whole room breathing together at the same time? Oh, I felt it. I was like, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. One through 10. How are we doing? Yeah. Oh, it's good, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Does anybody have any questions? Anything? No question. Yeah. It is just bending and unbending. Uh-huh, yep, so I'm gonna start it right here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, and then you just take it up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, the secret is keeping your inner thighs relaxed. That's the hardest part. Don't wanna tighten up. Yeah, oh, we know what to do about that. Soft sphincter, <laughs> relax those butt muscles. Yeah, <laughs> Sri Lanka, I love that you're doing the move with me. Sri Lanka's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Soft sphincter, I got it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Are we ready to add on some Zanubas? Ah, uh, looks like we're ready. How about at home? We feeling Zanuba ready? Yes, 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 yes. The most enthusiastic for Zanubas you've ever been. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna rock forward and back. So start it by touching in place. So we go forward and back and forward. Now we step and it goes forward and back and 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 five, six and seven, no, eight. Now forward and back and 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 five six seven no eight so we're just going to take turns doing one side then the other then one side then the other so you're going to get four full zanubas on each side 
I believe. Maybe there's eight. Now I got to listen. Hang on. Let me listen before I do it on the wrong side, tell you the wrong number. You're just going to Zanuba with me until I tell you to change sides, okay? <laughs> you got this. Let me back. Be the last one. Get ready. Here it is. And one, two, three. Now we change the sides. One, and two, and three. And last one, change. One, and two, three. Last one, change. One, and two, three, five, six, seven, no, eight. Yes. Okay, for each side, we change every time there's a key change, right? So it starts a little lower. Da 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 Right. So when we hit those key change, that's when we're gonna change it each time. We will decorate later, but for now, let's just get our feet in order. So let's do that again. Now we change the side. Now we change the side. Now we change the side. Five, six, seven, no, eight. Yes. Okay. I hesitate to talk about the transition because you're all doing it right here in the room. And I don't want you to think too hard about it or it will get screwy. How was our transition between the Zanubas at home? Were they happening? Yeah, so-so? Yeah, it was okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna touch real briefly on it. Don't think, whatever you were just doing was right, okay? So when I transition, what I'm doing is I'm gonna say five, six, seven, no, eight one so i'm ready with that last one to go so let's do four on this side and then we transition one two three four two two three four three two three four five six and seven no eight right so then i just hold and i'm ready to do the same thing on the other side so let's do that same thing first actually let's practice that transition so we say five six seven no eight good so we're just ready for that other foot to go Left foot's in front. We go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, no, eight. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, no, eight. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, no, eight. When in doubt, Egyptian fudge it out. That's totally fine, right? It's mom's signature move, yeah? Don't hesitate to use it. <laughs> if that's what your brain wants to do, there's no problem with that. Okay, should we do it again? Let's do it again. Let's take it from the beginning. Put the Zanuba into it. See how that feels. Too shabby, huh? Whew. 
what was this? Amelia says, you, you ready to talk about, talk about a little decoration? So decoration, these are sugar cookies, right? Sanubas are a sugar cookie. So you can decorate them or not decorate them. And they're gonna taste good no matter what you do, yeah? So <laughs> since Amelia asked about the arms, we'll talk about the second one first because I know that was the more like, what was that? So what I'm doing, my hands are up and I'm gonna draw a figure eight with my fingertips. Forward and back, 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 and forward and back. So I'm still doing, now it is toe to fingertip connection. So push, reach, push, reach, push, reach, push. Reach. Yeah. So you see how my arm movement doesn't just start here, but it starts here. Right. So whoosh, 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 whoosh. We're seaweed underwater. Yeah. It's the ultimate seaweed right here. Yes. That's another. Yeah. You've got a cane in your hand and you're drawing a figure eight with the cane in your hand like this. Yeah. So if you had a stick and you were holding it, and you push it forward to back, forward to back, forward to back, forward to back. It looks best if it, so if I'm doing this, you see how I kind of lose my cane? So you see how when I do this, both my hands move simultaneously as if I were holding a cane, right? So canes are, they literally are exactly what you're picturing for Egyptian dance, it's just a hook end, right? So I'm just holding on to my cane. So the more you can keep that cane in mind, the nicer that's going to look. So try moving with your ribcage. See if your ribs want to get involved a little. Down. Take it down a little. Take it down a little. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Down some. Oh, we're seaweeds. Oh, such nice little kelps. We're the nice kind, not the slimy kind. Yeah. <laughs> we might be the slimy kind. Don't speak for me, <laughs> Lisa. says. <laughs> So now let's see how it feels over Zanuba. So see, can you keep a little of that reach? If it falls apart, that's okay. So we go forward and back, now forward and back, and 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 forward and back and forward and hold. So when I'm changing sides, what I'm going to do, I go whoosh, I go whoosh, I go whoosh and hold to go whoosh and whoosh, whoosh and you hold to go whoosh and whoosh, whoosh, then you hold to go whoosh, 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 then you hold, whoosh, 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 then you hold, whoosh, 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 then you hold, whoosh, 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 then you hold. Yeah, good. You want to try it on the other side? Question, Myrtle? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there is a bit more turn. Mm -hmm. Because I want to really, oh, yeah, I want to really emphasize that. I do, and I'll do that on the back too. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Yeah, so if you see which direction my nipples point, to that wall, now that wall, now that wall, now that wall. Yeah, I do have a pretty good, pretty good twist in there. Question, Kara? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if it helps to, to turn your head, right, I would be looking that way, then that way, then that way, then that way. Yeah, as long as it doesn't make you dizzy, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, across. Yeah, so it would be, so we talk about human style versus camel style, familiar with that? So people walk like this, opposition, right? Camels, no shit, look it up, walk like this, yeah? So now you'd be like, great, yeah, human style is probably the easy one. No, your body's gonna want a camel every time. Your body, so if I'm doing this, your body's gonna see that and go, boom, da, da. Da boom, <laughs> da da, right? So that all of your pieces move at the same time. So this goes across, right? So you see how this hand, this foot, hand and foot, yeah, hand and foot, hand and foot, 
and five, six, and seven, no, wait, now hand and foot, and hand and foot, and hand and foot, and five, six, and seven, no, wait, hand and foot, and hand and foot, and hand and foot, and five, six, and seven, no, wait, hand and foot, and hand and foot, and hand and foot, and five, six, and seven, no, eight. Yes, good. So I know those need more practice. So let's do just that Zanuba part with those arms. We won't do those arms the whole time, but just to give us a little bit more practice on those, because I know this is why I said the arms. They're like, just cut the dangly bits off, right? <laughs> Okay, so we normally start these arms lower. So I wanna show you the lower one as well. So these are both figure eights. This is a high figure eight. This one's a low figure eight, right? So I'm doing the same thing. Now I'm rowing my boat. Row your boat, 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 row your boat. So I can apply all the same tactics as before. It's still gonna be hand foot. I'm still kind of using my rib cage, but this one, if your brain is struggling with this one and you're kind of getting lost in all the movement, take it down to that boat row. So try that with me. So we go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, other side, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, across yourself. Across yourself, across yourself. Now hold it across to go across yourself. Across yourself, across yourself. Now hold it across and then across yourself. Across yourself, across yourself. Now hold it across and then across yourself. Across yourself, across yourself. Five, six, and seven, no, eight. There we go. There we go. Now we got that hand foot coordination. Let's do that exact same thing. If you want to do the up high one, you can. If you're like, well, do the low one with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, no, eight. Up. The good news is we'll definitely be starting from the Zanuba next week. Are you ready to take it once from the top? Let's put it all together, grand, from the toes, through the nips. Let's do it. goodness are you feeling the power of the orchestra <gasps> they're just 
they're so heart pounding. I feel like when we hear orchestra and accordion, that's not like, oh, you know, adrenaline rush just listening to it. I'm telling you, Egyptian orchestras aren't a whole other thing. Okay, more on that next week. We'll be doing those Anubas. We'll talk some other decorations and stuff. Inappropriate song night, November 2nd. You should come. It's a burlesque comedy variety show. It's on live stream. It's here in the studio, but only come if you like butt jokes, okay? Must like butt jokes, all right? So we're all clear. Butt jokes, raunchy. Okay, then you can come. Yeah! <laughs> What's that? Relax your butthole, yes, <laughs> exactly. All right, everybody, looking forking forward to seeing you next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. Good night.